is OpenAI's 1.5 image model better than Nano Banana Pro? Well, that's what I want to test today using four different tests. We're going to be testing architecture exteriors, interiors, editing functionality, and how they handle people. I'm going to be doing all of this within Artlist's interface. Special shout out to Artlist for sponsoring this video. So let's get right into it. If you've never heard of Artlist, it's basically an aggregator for a lot of the AI models, meaning Anytime there's a huge update to a model, we get the access directly here. So here you can see I've got GPT image 1.5 and it's three flavors, Nano Banana, Sea Dream and Flux. So this is actually different from what most people are used to because let's say you have a ChatGPT subscription, you only have access to 1.5. If you have a Gemini subscription, you only have Nano Banana. So you get everything in one spot. So that's why I really like these aggregators. One low fee, for access to all this. So now I'm gonna get started with text to image. I'm gonna drop in this prompt that I was working on before. It's a modern house on the coastline, white stucco, black windows, dramatic skies, and California vibes. So there's three different models and each of them has a different cost associated with it. I can see the cost right over here. So 150 is for medium, 30 for low, and high is 600. So if you're you know, low on credits, you can be conscious about which model you go with. I found through my testing, medium is pretty good. Low is also really good for ideation, but if you want like a good starting point, I'm gonna stick to medium. So before I hit send, there's a couple things I can do. If you notice right here, I can choose the aspect ratio and I can choose the amount of generations. Again, this is one of the perks of using an aggregator pulling the API instead of doing it directly. You can't do batch image making in the tools I talked about earlier. So. I've got the prompt here. I can go ahead and enhance it. I personally love enhancing prompts because I can literally click this and it will expand it for me. So I don't need to type out all the typical prompt stuff that helps improve an image. So check this out. Look at all the details it added. So if you don't like prompting, definitely use an enhancer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate. But what I wanna do is I wanna compare Nano Banana Pro and GPT image. So in order to make this a fair test, I'm gonna show you both images at once. I'm not gonna tell you which one until after you decide. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate both image 1.5 and Nano Banana. So which of these two images is your favorite? Now here's the name of each model. So were you right? Was it 1.5, was it Nano Banana? So right now I wanna go down and show you the medium version, the Nano Banana Pro version, and then I wanna show you the 1.5 high version, just so you can kind of see the differences. What I noticed with the medium version of 1.5, it was definitely a lot more dramatic, which isn't a bad thing. I think aesthetic wise, it really depends on what you're looking for. Like if you want this kind of color palette, I think that's great. But just talking about like the image composition, texturally, everything looks about right. Like we're not seeing anything, you know, too weird, right? The pool looks cool, you know, infinity kind of pool. We've got our coastline. We've got the, uh, the beautiful sky, palm trees. Architecture looks right, right? It listened to the white stucco and the black windows. So it definitely got us there. So now let's compare it to Nano Banana. And you can always see within, you know, clicking an image, what it is. The dimensions, the model, and of course the creation date. So here, definitely a lot more tame than 1.5. We can see it's still dramatic, but not as rich or vivid as the coloring as we saw before. But again, it definitely hit the materials correctly and everything, but not as modern as the design that we saw with the ChatGPT option, which I thought was kind of nicer. I think this gets a little weird in terms of the posties. Like this is kind of like more AI tell, but everything else looks amazing. And now let's talk about the high model. So I'm gonna go with this image. And again, we can see it's GPT high, and this is coming out as a 1K image. So here you can see like, it definitely nailed everything. We've got the stucco, we've got the black windows, we've got the pool. And this to me is like the kind of dramatic sky I personally would be looking for. I think the, the orange we saw before was a little too much, but you can see everything looks really good. I think just the only thing we want is just like a higher quality in terms of dimensions. Well, look at that. We've got upscale built right into here and then you could do a 2X. So I think depending on what you're, you're trying to do here, you do have really like three solid options again you've got 1.5 medium you've got nano banana pro and then you have the high option which you know personally i think are, are all great so once you have these options what you can do is you can actually edit them and i want to show you where low has its pros and cons so let's say i've got this right here i can hit transform image and then this is going to move me to image to image so this just means i'm going to be editing it so now let me say turn this into nighttime and what I'm gonna do is switch my model. So I'm on GBT image 1.5 low, just so you could see the quality of that. Cause we've already seen medium, we've already seen high. Let me show you what this does. And while that's baking, I'm gonna give you a medium as well and a high and a nano banana pro. 
And what we'll do is we'll even time how long these took just so you could see the generation time because 1.5 is very quick. It's actually faster than Pro right now. Right now, Pro is landing between medium and high of ChatGPT. So this is our low image. We'll bring this up. And you can see it did a pretty good job. No complaints here, except there are some like weird artifacts from the uh, the previous image. I noticed this a lot in my testing that the skies didn't necessarily change. But again, low is used for ideation. So you use this when you want like quick tests. You're not ready for final quality. You just want to like test out an idea. So again, factor in the amount of credits you're spending on this, right? Because this was a fraction of the price. Look at this. This is 30 versus your typical of like 150, okay? So we're talking about five times less. Then here is medium. Again, this looks about right. You know, we don't have, we still have a little bit of that artifacting from the dramatic skies. Let's see how Nana Banana did. We switch that over and it looks like it's actually struggling a little bit more with that. So that's, that's interesting here. So now let's see what nighttime in max does or high it does. And this is the only one that actually did it perfectly. So that's kind of interesting there that it was able to handle that no issues here and it just basically turns the lights on you know is what would happen when it's nighttime so curious what you guys think you know in terms of who won here but we also need to factor in there's a balance between you know the cost of each the time and the credit spend so that's for the exteriors so now let's get into our interior test i'm going to drop this prompt in so it's a modern scandinavian interior view out to the coast california and colorful pillows and we're going to do two images at a time and i'm going to switch this down to medium and generate that and now i want you to pick which one you like more so which of these two images is your favorite and now this is the model and now let's talk a little bit about what we got so right here this is the gpt medium 5 version so as you can see, definitely nailed the colorful pillows. Feels very California-like. We've got our palm trees. Textures look all about right. You know, look at this knit guy right here. I mean, that looks amazing. We've got our lamps here. I mean, this all looks pretty good. Maybe some weird stuff going on here, but overall as an image, I think really, really pretty. So then let's compare it to our nano banana image over here. It's a little bit more sterile, interesting. It's still really nice, but it's kind of funny how it took like two completely different angles of the design approach. I feel like 1.5 happened to be a little bit like cozier and like more humanizing rather than this, which seems more like a photo shoot. But again, quality is both, you know, phenomenal. Like I, I don't really think you can go wrong with either of these. I think each of them probably responds to your prompt a little bit differently in terms of like what you're going for. So really cool to see that there. And again, if you ever want the resolution bumped up, all you have to do is just hit upscale and then it'll do that. And then while I'm here, you know, let me just point this out. Again, the reason I talk about aggregators all the time and why I like using Artlist is I've got the functionality to upscale and go directly into animation here. I know right now we're doing, you know, a comparison, but you can just do image to video, plug it into a cling model, a VO model, you know, you've got so many options even Sora is here again this is the benefit of using the aggregators invest your money here rather than the individual tools let's say nano banana pro is is dethroned as like the king if you have a Gemini subscription you're kind of you know out of luck you got to wait for Google to pick up but if you like experimenting and seeing what makes most sense for your work like we saw here in terms of how it responds to your prompts that's why you want to have the options okay and putting that out there as an option so while I'm here, you know, might as well just send it out with Kling and let's just say day, night, time lapse. And you can do audio too, which is pretty cool. So we'll send that out. And now. So let's take a look at the upscaled version. Now we're at, you know, a 2K resolution. So much, much sharper than before. Yeah, I mean, this is great. I mean, just like look at the rug. I mean, this is just absurd. All right, awesome job there. All right, so we've got that there. Now let's talk about the test for people. So I'm gonna go back to AI image and now let's do text to image. And now we'll do our final test, a test with people. So I'm gonna drop in this prompt. It's a couple hanging out in Central Park on a sunny day, selfie cam style. So what I'm gonna do is hit enhance. So we can improve our prompt. And just like before, I'm gonna show you the Nano Banana Pro option and the 1.5 medium option. And let's see what you like best. And then I'm also gonna throw in the high just so we have that. And then another benefit I wanna point out with the aggregators is just the fact that you're able to do things in parallel, meaning you can render out a bunch of images and videos at the same time, instead of having to wait for the task to finish, which is the issue we experience with ChatGPT and Gemini. So which do you prefer? And now this is the model. So now let's do a little deep dive. So we've got our nano banana option over here. 
So the interesting thing about this is, I think it's a, a beautiful photo. I think it nailed everything, but I actually got the angle wrong, which I actually said the selfie cam, right? So it should be coming out of here, but overall beautiful image. I mean, if, if I glanced at this quickly, I would probably think it's a real photo. I mean, just look at the details of like her watch and just like the ring. I mean, this is, this is crazy. So now let's take a deep dive into the 1.5 model. So here we've we've got the correct angle and everything. Yeah, I mean the details are all crazy. I mean like just look like the the wrinkles and the freckles and everything and just like the beard growing through. I mean this is just So this is the medium option. I also did bake in a high option as well. I mean, let's go. And just like the sunglasses and everything. I mean, look at this. So it definitely nailed the selfie cam. And I mean looking south, you've got 432 park here. So architecturally it's nailing those details. Crazy. So really curious what you guys think about what is the best model right now. I, I don't think I could tell you which one I like more. I think they're they're both really strong and I think they're good for like different aesthetics and look. That's what I think is this is going to come down to. Like, which do you resonate the most with, right? So it's like, I really thought this interior option was like a really good example. It's like, are you going for like the homey feel or are you going for this like more cinematic look? And then same thing with here. Right? It's just like the quality is there and that's kind of the benefit of these aggregators, right? It like, depending on which one you like, you just go with that. So it's nice that we've got all this functionality here, you know, your aspect ratio, your variations, as well as the different flavors here. But again, all this does impact your, your final cost, right? So like image 1.5 high at two images is 1200 versus low is 60. So kind of makes a big deal, but you've definitely have the options there. So in terms of like what these credits cost and subscription, you know, let's hop into that just so you're, you're aware. I get this question a lot. So right now they're running a holiday deal right now, where it's basically 40% off. And I just want to go in and click in and show you. So the medium plan, which is like the AI suite, really good bang for your buck, 16.5 K credits, right? So this is $12 a month. If you go with the annual plan Again, annual is giving you that 40% discount. So think about it, if you're using the low version of GPT, right? And you just do one image that's 30, right? So that's 550 images, right? If you're just doing low, so let's bump it up and let's just say you're doing medium that's 150 you're looking at about 110 images in this plan so again not bad 12 bucks so pretty good deal you can buy more credits of course you can always do that but i think it's like a really good starting point like again you're getting access to nano banana pro all the latest models the video stuff the editing stuff upscaling so hard hard to beat but again this is on the annual plan so if you want to sign up link is in the description and the pinned comment if you have any questions about what i covered or if you want to just talk about which model looks better you know i want to hear your opinions because i don't think there's a clear answer right now i think they're both extremely strong and you should just use them depending on the time you have the token spend and then just the overall look you're going for if you made it this far definitely subscribe to the channel and like the video it really helps me out see you in the next one